And this is a Pikachu with a light ball. What's up? I've been so locked in with the edited content, I have not uploaded anything to do with battles, like, in, like, weeks. Um, and this video was supposed to come out a minute ago, uh, but as it turns out, it's really hard to get a light ball for Pikachu in this game. It took me, like, three days worth of on and off effort, but we did it. I, I don't know why something overcame me, uh, and I asked our channel artist, uh, MJ, I, I said, hey, MJ, what do I build around? And they just went, Pikachu, and I went, okay um so the thumbnail was done before the team was done and i am just filling in the blanks here i figured if we we're gonna use pikachu we're gonna go all in we're using volt tackle with a light ball we're dealing some major damage let's just go for it you know if you guys enjoy leave a like subscribe turn notifications uh some of you guys are wondering why isn't this on your second channel look the second channel uh, that's like you know me using teams messing around that sort of thing uh the main channel i'm still gonna upload you know once a week uh, a battle video but it's gonna be like a gimmicky team that's kind of fun that i actually like put a little bit of time and effort into uh, obviously this one not the most time and effort I, there is a pikachu on the team uh, i can only give it so much attention before it becomes a bad idea and would you look at that um you are now my best friend mr arcanine okay all right uh i really want to use the pikachu in basically every game so we are gonna force it here uh, I will say that we get a lot of value out of the Chen Pao here, but we also get a lot, of, a lot of value out of Golden Go. I just have to be careful with it. I do like the Sash and the Chen Pao, though. Um, it lets me get a little bit of extra damage out of uh, my Mons with uh, Sword of Ruin, but also, you know, I'm going to be able to uh, be able to check that uh, Sandy Shocks, which, I don't know. It's funny, Blizzard spam has been on the rise lately, ever since the uh, Utrecht team that won uh, using, you know, choice specs articuno so we can sort of infer like 50 percent of what's going on on this team but man like i just i am just not a fan of playing against blizzard spam not because it's particularly hard but because it's just like it's very prone to ruining your day you know at any point you can just get smacked by a, a blizzard and get frozen and then you just go oh well that's that's not fun there's the booster energy um obviously an earth power would not be fun to tank here um I think I'm just going to not bother. I do have to tear here. I'm going to go ahead and not bother with any Tailwind just yet. And I'm going to go right into Chen Pao. We're going to smack it with a Choice Band uh, Extreme Speed. Hopefully that'll be a two-hit KO. Um, and yeah, getting up later Tailwind might be helpful here. I, I just wish I could have used Pikachu in this match uh, a little bit more effectively. But that thing's uh, a little too scary. And Pikachu is more of like an Urshifu guy, you know? When he sees Urshifu, he goes, okay, let's get him. Let's get him, Bosh. Okay. So the Terra Fairy, obviously offensively doing nothing for us here. Um, but it will allow us to survive this. We'll be able to hit it with an E-Speed. Should be a 2-hit KO with the Choice Band and the Sword of Ruin. They go for a Tailwind. I'm assuming Earth Power. We threaten it pretty hard, so I can just go ahead and E-Speed and, uh, and Ice Spinner or Ice Will Crash into the thing to the right of it. Hopefully, we don't see a Terra Ghost. I'd really hate to see that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click another E-Speed and an Icicle Crash. Yeah, into you. Don't be Terra Ghost. I would cry a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Not too much. Not too much. I can only assume that this Sandy Shocks was teched onto the team as a way to beat opposing like fire types and rock types that check the uh, Blizzard spam duo. But why not use Landorus Incarnate, you know? Ah, uh, it's going to be Terra Ghost. I, you know, I called it out loud. I just didn't want to believe it. I just didn't want to believe it. I'd be like, ah, I'd be dumb to be Terra Ghost, right? Oh, it's Terra Steel. Not the worst. I mean, like, we can pick up a KO next turn if we manage to survive this. Stream speed. Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. Um, heavy slam. Oh, how heavy even are you? are at mine. This does not KO me. No, I'm like, dude, you weigh like five pounds. Calm down. Yeah, dodge that Arcanine. Thank you. Like, what? what is what is he doing? You know, <laughs> I was legitimately wondering, like, oh, is this going to be an issue? It was not. It was not, in fact, actually. Uh, we see the Focus Sash. I mean, like, I can just switch my targets here. I can go ahead and E-speed into the right slot, Sucker Punch into the left, and uh, we should be all good. 
Yeah, no, I was like, man, is this, is this going to be an issue? No, it was not. Why heavy slam? I I'm gonna look up how much Sandy Shocks weighs. We're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of this. It is not that much because that was 40 base power. I guarantee you, Sandy Shocks weight. It's 132 pounds, brother. I weigh more than this thing. I weigh more than Sandy Shocks. Why are you stalling out your own tailwind? Doesn't it learn Flash Cannon? There's no way it doesn't learn Flash Cannon, right? Like, you gotta learn Flash Cannon. Did they even set up Tailwind? I feel like they did. Yeah, they did. They have one more turn left to Tailwind. All extreme speed the right slot, Sucker Punch the left. Um, no real downside to this unless they want to go for a double switch, but even then I get a little bit of damage, and then Tornado switches out. Um, I already forgot what I was thinking of. Flash Cannon. I have to check if it learns Flash Cannon, because if it does, there's no reason not to use that. I don't know, maybe Terra Steel Heavy Slam one-shots like no bulk Flutter Man, but also the double protect. That kind of tells me they might not have anything that... Why are you just continuing to do this? Genuinely, like, because... All right, so here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to keep doing this, and you're going to fail the next protect, and I'm going to keep sucker punching because I have eight of these dudes... And you're definitely going to Tailwind this turn because you're you're probably not familiar with turn order or priority. I think you get the Tailwind off before the Extreme Speed happens, but no. Um, Sandy Shocks. Do you learn Flash Cannon? You have to learn Flash Cannon. You literally are like a Magma. Yeah, you, you learn Flash Cannon. Okay. I'm flabbergasted. Absolutely flabbergasted. If I can prevent this Tailwind, that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, legitimately, I could still lose this, just because that's the nature of Blizzard spam. Okay, there we go. There's one. There's two, I assume? All right, there we go. Sorry, it, it, Chimpow has to roar. Ever since version, like, 2.1, like, Pokemon have to complete their roar before they attack for some reason. Still got Pikachu in the back. That's going to be our goat. If we land one Volt Tackle, it's over. It's over. It's done. That's an Ogre Pond. So let's target it over to the left of it. Um, Yeah. No, it seems, sounds good. I'm going to target the thing to the left of it. We'll go for an Extreme Speed as well as a Sacred Sword. Because if we if we follow me, you know, if, if they go for like a Spiky Shield, I can lose a Mon here. Uh, but I should outspeed both of these, barring a Choice Scarf. And even if I don't outspeed it, um, I can clean up with Pikachu. All right, hopefully I lose a Pokemon here, because that just lets me get the Pikachu in. And we can do the Pikachu win. Epic Pikachu endgame. Ivy Cudgel, go ahead and get rid of that guy. I don't, I don't even... I, I don't quite care for him, actually. All right, now I have to do something uh, a little bit fancy. Got to get in my Pikachu here. I need to guarantee I outspeed. Go for this fake out. Go for Tornadus here, because I don't know if I'm faster than their Ogre Pond. You know, could be iffy. Um, and we'll go ahead and we'll click Volt Tackle. It's not going to be that strong, mind you. Um, okay, they Spiky Shield. I could have... I could have just, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, but now I can go for Tailwind and Volt Tackle. Maybe it one-shots. I don't know how bulky this thing is. I have no clue. All I know is that Volt Tackle is pretty strong. <laughs> it's it's a pretty strong move. Uh, it's probably going to live. Like, let's be real. I could Leer. I'm just a coward. I'm going to Tailwind here. I, I have no idea how fast they are. Like, sometimes I'm faster than these guys. Sometimes I'm not. All right, get him. That did, that did a decent amount. That did a decent amount. Okay. Ivy Cudgel into the wrong guy. All right, buddy. Hope you're ready to lose to a Pikachu. Actually, do you want to see me beat him in the funniest way possible? 
Let me double check these speed tiers real quick. So Pikachu is 154. Tornadus, you're slower than that, aren't you? I can't do it in the funny way. I can't go for quick attack. All right, Volt Tackle, Leer. Oh, okay, you just forfeits. Nice, okay. Pikachu does something game one. That's a W to me. As long as Pikachu does something immediately, that's a W. Sorry, I had to take a sip of my of my water. All right, continue battling. By the way, um, you know, let me know what Pokemon you guys want to see in the next video like this. Wen Haas. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I don't like this team at all. Actually, Arcanine's great here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but Pikachu's gonna struggle to do anything. I think we lead off with the choice ban Arcanine and Tornadus. And we just continue to bring like Pikachu in the back. Um, you can make a case for Golden Go here over Chen Pao, but I'm no coward. I'm no coward. We're leading entirely into the Pikachu Volt Tackle with Sword of Ruin. For those of you who don't know how Light Ball works, I feel like I, you know, I definitely should have explained this at the beginning of the video. Uh, the Light Ball doubles Pikachu's like stats, so or it doubles its attack and special attack. So the best way to put it, a lot of people don't know how this works. When a stat gets doubled in Pokemon, uh, like with huge power or something, and comment down below if you didn't know this because this is a good learning experience. Um, like a Zoom roll, right? It has like 50 base attack. It's a its attack stat doesn't become a hundred. You actually multiply the attack stat after nature and after EV investment. So the boost is a lot more potent than you'd expect. Alright, Glamora, Volcarona. That just feels like a free rock slide to me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Um I could Terra Fairy here, technically. Could Terra Fairy here technically to live the Meteor Beam, but I'm not even certain I live it regardless, so I'm just going to go ahead and just Tailwind and risk a... <laughs> I'm just going to Tailwind and see if I can get a flinch. I'll play this very basic. I'm assuming Meteor Beam. And if they double protect for some reason, um, then I definitely win because I get to click Leer. But this should do a ton of damage. All right, 50%, not bad. Not bad, not bad. So go for the Meteor Beam, and that might be into Tornadus, which I'm kind of okay with. No, that's an Arcanine. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. I have Bleak Wind. I also have Chen Pao. I mean, an Icicle Crash probably KOs the Glamora. Um, and I can go ahead and click Bleak Wind. So the only issue is I have to be a little bit more fearful of you know, Mr. Volcarona there. You know what? I'm no coward. I'm going right into Pikachu. Only a coward wouldn't go into Pikachu right now. And I'm no coward. This isn't about winning. It's about sending a message. All right. Go go gadget volt tackle. And also probably getting burned, but go go gadget volt tackle. There's no way they terra grass here, that'd be pointless. Oh yeah, they're gonna terra grass here. Awesome, awesome. Maybe water, that'd be cool. If you could just very cool. Still neutral. I'll take it. I'll take it. Go go gadget volt tackle. That's a minus one defense Volcarona. Mind you, Volcarona's defense is already pretty low. And this is a Pikachu with a light ball. Oh, wait, Liv. You're Focus Sash, aren't you? I hate you. I know you're Focus Sash. Show me the Focus Sash. No, you just, you just tank that. Okay. Earth Power. Okay. Pikachu! Okay. 
Look, we sent the message. That's all that matters. We sent the message. They know what's up. Go for a quiver dance? I literally don't care. I could not care less. Um, I mean, I do care because I have to connect my bleak wind, um, but I couldn't care less. And I also care because I don't have a focus ash, but I, I still, you know, on like the grand scheme of things I care about, you know, taxes, family, um, food, money, it's, it's somewhere below those. So I couldn't, I couldn't care less. Ice go crash. Bleak wind storm kind of got to connect us. Kind of, kind of got to connect this. All right. Tornadus, don't you dare fail me here. Don't you dare fail me, because we can still bring it back. I mean, it's we have Leer and a Chien Pao and a Dream. All right. We also still have our Terra. Uh, let's say, like, a Fake Out Mon comes out. I think they had a Rillaboom. I don't remember. I'm not really, like, locked in right now. I kind of just, like... I kind of just like recording for you guys sometimes, you know, sitting down, making a video. But let's say that there is a Rillaboom. I can Terra Ghost and Bleak Wind and Icicle Crash, and that blocks Fake Out on both my mons since I'm a Covert Cloak set. Jarjanical. Hmm. Jorvanite. Well, this isn't that good. Um... I could see this possibly working. I uh, just it's going to be a little awkward. I do have to tear a ghost here to take minimal damage. And I have to hope that Leer into Sacred Sword KOs Garganical. Fairly certain it won't, but we'll see. With any luck, They'll like iron head my Chen Pao and salt cure my 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 tornadus. And since I'm cloak, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, mirror armor is gonna lower my tornadus' defense, but um, worth the trade? Not really. Okay, we lose. <laughs> okay. Here's the bulk up. All right, for the love of God. Salt cure the 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 tornadus. Oh no! It's so over. It's so over. I'll forfeit here. I'm not gonna make you watch a Corviknight Garganical endgame. All right, let's let's get out of here. This is it. This is just this is just gonna be a long sad endgame if I play that out. Uh, ways I could have improved the matchup. And still brought Pikachu. Um, we'll go with zero. Also, if you hear cars, my windows are open. I just enjoy, just enjoy hearing the outdoors. You know, the great outdoors with cars and stuff. But yeah, no, uh, ways I could improve that matchup and still brought Pikachu. Hmm, zero. Pikachu doesn't really get to come to that game. <laughs> I just really wanted to use it. All right. Let's do one more. Hopefully Pikachu can really shine. Hopefully we can just annihilate something with a Pikachu. Uh, show me a water type. Don't think we've seen one yet. Still haven't seen one. And... Protosynthesis isn't the best for this team. I mean, you outspeed plus one Fluttermane, right? Eh, it depends on the set. Um, Into this? Not feeling great. I think we just continue to do what we've been doing, and we have to bring the Pikachu, because that is just the self-imposed limitation I've just kind of put on myself this game, you know? Look, it's Pikachu video. Pikachu's gonna pop off. Um, you know what sucks is I was actually... I'm, I'm running static on my Pikachu, specifically because it's just nice to have, you know, you have a chance to paralyze things that make contact with you. Um, but... Uh, Lightning Rod would be a lot better into the Raging Bolt matchup, and really the reason I didn't run Lightning Rod is because it felt like I only used it in the Raging Bolt matchup and nowhere else, because, like, there's very few Electro types in the metagame right now. All right.
Torkoal and you. I mean, Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz seems pretty free right now. <laughs> they gave me Sun. I am currently Choice Banded. I think I'm happy. Oh, what? So Rock Slide feels pretty good right now. Um, Fluttermane's going to hit the field. Uh, I'm currently Choice Banded. Okay, so Flare Blitz feels really good right now. Um, you know, there's Sun on the field, and I'm currently Choice Banded. I think I still just Flare Blitz that right slot and go ahead and click the, the Bleak Wind Storm. That is kind of the only decision I can make here. Other That, that like, guarantees a KO. Um, I, you know, I'm one or the other. One or the other. My main concern is Rage Powder. Brute Bonnet's a Pokemon I really wish I would explore more. I think that Brute Bonnet would be a phenomenal Pokemon in this metagame if Fluttermane didn't exist, but uh, it does, so that's kind of a big issue. Alright, what's your Terra? Fire. You know, Rock Slide seems really good right about now, um, but I didn't click it. Okay, that's fine. Um, as long as I get the KO on the right slot, I'm pretty happy. This is Sun Boosted Choice Band. There's no way you live this. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm fine with something going to sleep. I mean, I... Okay, cool. Awesome. We have to get one more game, because that guy was very upset by my choice of using Flare Blitz. If I could take it back and use Rock Slide, maybe I would. I don't know. If it'd make that guy happy. Alright. One more, then. One more. That was supposed to be the last game. That was supposed to be the last one, but now, because of that, we have to get a fourth game. Continue battling here. He was not happy with my choice of move. I was. Kind of. In the end. Alright. That is a Kilowattril and a Bramblegast. Words cannot describe how little I know what's about to happen. I mean, it's it's like a Tailwind Ursaluna team. We know that much, right? Um, but their Tailwind is faster than mine. They have a, a an, an immunity to my best move, Bleak Windstorm, the best move in the game. Best move ever, questionably. Um, do I bring Rillaboom here? It's, uh, it's questionable. Uh, I mean, I probably do. I think I leave Chen Pao at home because I have to bring... Mr. Chu. Thank you, Mr. Chu. Main reason kind of have to bring the, the Rillaboom here is just because, like, Terra Grass, Miracle Seed, Grassy Glide chunks one, two, three of his Pokemon. Like, his three best offensive Pokemon for tons of damage. Also, on lead, Tailwind Rock Slide just kind of rocks him for lack of a better term. So Arcanine's definitely not staying here. All right, let's do this. Okay, yeah, Bramble Gas lead, I, I can live with that. I mean, I just get my Tailwind off, I get my Rock Slide off. He should struggle a fair amount here. Um, yeah, he shouldn't really like this. Uh, yeah, I can't Bleak Wind, obviously, but Rock Slide is free. This guy's at minus one, so, you know, who cares? Uh, Charm would be quite annoying. Taunt would be a little bit annoying, but not, not too much, because it means that they don't get their attack boost. Uh, but yeah, they do go for the Tailwind here. They're going to get their attack boost. They're going to go back up to neutral. This Choice Band Rock Slide should deal a pretty significant amount of damage, uh, and we can see just how fast their Bramble Gast is here. Maybe I outspeed my Arcanine. Probably not. They go for the Poltergeist, and they miss. I hope. No? <laughs> I can dream. Not too much at neutral. And yeah. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and click Leer, and that move again, because that move is hilarious. All right. Go ahead and drop that. Go ahead and drop that defense stat for me. 
We go for an endeavor. Oh, are they gonna poltergeist me? Can you miss? That'd be awesome. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Um, Pikachu, how can you fix this for me? Pikachu, how do you fix this? You don't fix this, but Rillaboom does. Um, they're at minus one defense. My Grassy Glide just picks up a KO here. Of course, a Shadow Sneak would probably pick up a KO versus me. Uh, but we'll go ahead and I feel comfortable bleak winding because it's not like there's a downside to that now. Uh, and we can just go for the raw gra glassy glide, glassy glide, grassy glide into this guy. He shouldn't take it too well. Minus one defense, miracle seed, stab, terrain, and he's ugly. Lots of things not going well for this thing. All right, get him out of there. All right, give me the Endeavor. Go ahead. Actually, you probably won't get to because my Tornado is just faster, I think. Nope. Weak Wind. I guess I should have remembered from turn one that I'm not faster. Get a little bit of recovery here. Um, we now have access to the funniest combo in the game, which is, of course, Leer plus Miracle Seed Grassy Glide. There's the Ursa Luna. There's the Urshifu. Single strike. Um in a bit of a pickle here. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna lie. I I definitely think I leer. Actually, technically I bleak wind here. I bleak wind storm. And I have to choose very wisely where this move goes. Or I just lose. Because Pikachu is certainly not going to win this without a Terra. And even then, it's not the best Terra. Ooh, maybe I do just Terra here. Bleak Wind. Uh, I'm scared. Okay. I'm Grassy Gliding here specifically. Not, not because, like, you know, oh, Grassy Glide. Great, great move here. Uh, but because this Urshifu can seriously mess me up with a Wicked Blow. I could just lose my Mon immediately. Because they also Terra. Probably going to be that, that Ursa Luna, but I have to just kind of hope that it isn't. No, there it is. Terra Normal. Terra Fairy. Okay, well, that's actually... Man, okay, now I regret not Terraing the Pikachu because Pikachu actually could have done something here. Maybe it still can. Who knows? Grassy Glide should do a fair amount. I mean, it's a pretty strong move. Little, little under half. Um, I've already accepted that the game is over, just to be honest here. Unless I get a speed drop. No, no speed drop. Um, there's a shot. There is legitimately a shot that I win this. And it's hilarious how I win this, actually. So, I calced this Pikachu to eat a Sucker Punch. Not a Wicked Blow, but a Sucker Punch. And... If I can somehow manage to outplay this guy every single turn from now until the end of time, I can win. Okay. So here's the math that's mathing here. My Pikachu should outspeed Adamant Urshifu. And if we assume that the Urshifu is Adamant, then my best play here is Volt Tackle or Shifu? I, I don't know. I think Pikachu just dies, if I'm being honest. Um, My character is literally sitting here like, oh my god, what do I do? Uh, I'll Volt Tackle the guy on the right. Why not? It doesn't make a difference. Sucker Punch. Oh my god, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. I thought I was Calc to live that. Did I? Did I not Calc to live that? Was that the old Pikachu? Oh my god, that was the old Pikachu. Yeah, I'm only... Yeah, no, I forgot. I dropped all the defense on this Pikachu because I wanted a little bit more HP to eat the eat the attacks better. I legitimately could have won that by quick attacking a few times. That is just too funny. Okay, well, that's whatever. We use Pikachu. It was, a, it was a fun video. It was a fun video. You know, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. Let me know what I should use next. You know, check out the Patreon. Click the join button, do whatever. Uh, there's a Discord as well. A lot of people are in the Discord. Uh, I'm not too active there. Don't don't expect me to talk to you in there, but um, you do get updates on my videos there. 
Thank you for watching. Oh, I should probably make it. I should make this a rental team. Hold on. Rental incoming. Okay. Here's your stupid rental. Uh, it's a fun team. If you see a Fluttermane, click Tailwind and Terra Blast on the Pikachu. Very funny. Uh, we didn't see like a single Fluttermane today. Like we saw it on team preview. Never faced it. Which is unfortunate because I love bringing this team in the Fluttermane. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.